Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. For today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to configure Jscape MFD server so that it will copy files from a local directory to Azure Blob Storage on a predefined schedule. Many of the steps needed here are very similar to the ones we use in the video how to mirror an FTP server to S3 storage, so we won't be discussing every single step in detail anymore. If you want additional information, I suggest you click that link and leave that post open on a separate tab for reference. Alright, let's proceed. What I have here is a local directory named syncdir in the C drive of my server. This will serve as my source directory. So basically, once we're done, all new files in this directory will be copied to an Azure Blob container every time the clock strikes a particular time. Speaking of which, this right here is my Azure Blob storage container named jcpv-test. Let's just add a new directory here. Let's call it folder1. This is where the files in the sync dir directory will be copied to. Now that we have the source and destination directories set up, let's now head back to our Jscape MFT server instance and start configuring our trading partner objects and the trigger responsible for copying the files in question. The great thing about using Jscape MFT Server for this purpose is that MFT Server can serve as the single solution for all your file transfer needs. It supports a wide range of file transfer protocols and can even facilitate file transfers to, from, and between hosts with no file transfer service. We've provided links to a couple more examples in the description that showcase what you can do with the Jscape MFT server, so I suggest you click those links to learn more. In the meantime, let's proceed to the next part of this tutorial. Before you can start copying files from your local directory to Azure Blob Storage, you'll need to create two trading partner objects first. The first trading partner object should represent your local directory and hence should be of type local directory. The second trading partner on the other hand should represent your Azure Blob Storage Container folder and hence should be of type Microsoft Azure Blob Service. I'm going to assume you already know how to create these trading partner objects, but if you don't, you may watch the following videos for reference. The first video is how to mirror an FTP server to S3 storage, and the second video is how to upload files to Azure Blob Storage via FTPS. We've provided the links to those in the post or in the description. Assuming you already have your trading partners ready, the last step is to create a trigger that would copy files from one trading partner object to the other. Go to the trading partners module and click the add button to add a new trigger. For those who are using Jscape MFT Server version 12.1 and higher, you'll be presented with a trigger template dialog where you can choose a template that best describes the workflow you're about to automate. Let's just leave that blank and click OK. Give the trigger a name, for example, copy from local to Azure Blob Storage, and then select the current time event type. You may select any event type that suits your needs, but for this example, I like this trigger to run at a certain time of the day. That's why I'm using the current time event type. Click next to proceed. In the next screen, you can use the expression builder to build an expression that would define the schedule when this particular trigger should fire. I want this trigger to execute at 7.05 a.m. every day, so I built the expression as shown on the screen. 
click next to proceed. Once you get to the next screen, click the add button to add a new trigger action and then select trading partners synchronization from the action drop down list and then click OK. Let me now walk you through the key settings for this trading partner synchronization action. The first ones you'll encounter are partner A and partner B. Partner A is basically the source. It's a trading partner from which the target trading partner will be copying from. So in our case, that would be the local directory trading partner. Partner B, on the other hand, is the target. It's a trading partner to which the source trading partner will be copying to. In our case, that would be the Azure Blob Storage trading partner. Next up are Path A and Path B. Path A is the absolute local directory path in Partner A, which Path B will be copying from, and Path B is the relative path on Partner B that Path A will be copying to. So Path A is C, Sync DIR, and Path B is JCPV-Test slash Folder 1, wherein JCP Vidash test is a blob container and folder one is the folder we added to that blob container. The next setting we need to specify is the copy condition. This is the condition Jscape MFT server will use to determine whether to commence copying or synchronizing files each time the predefined schedule of this trigger is up. If you select different time, Jscape MFT server will commence copying if it sees that file timestamps on A are different from the ones on B. If you select different size, Jscape MFT server will commence copying if it sees that file sizes on A are different from the ones on B. And if you select different content, Jscape MFT server will commence copying if it sees that the content in A is different from the content in B. Let's just choose different time for now. Another setting you need to specify is the synchronization mode. There are four options. There's mirror, where new and modified files from A are copied to B and redundant files in B will be deleted. There's synchronize, where new and modified files from both paths are copied to each other. There's backup, where all files from A are copied to B. And there's contribute, where new and modified files from A are copied to B. Based on the descriptions given and your particular use case, you likely have to choose between backup and contribute. I'm going to choose contribute, so my trigger is only going to transfer files from A that are new and or modified. Lastly, you need to specify the result directory. This is where the results of the copying process will be written to. Click OK and then drag an arrow from the start output of the workflow node to the trading partner synchronization action node and then click OK to finalize the trigger creation process. That's it. Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so that you can copy data from your server to Azure Blob Storage.